We got a blue Mustang uh, license plate, California, one PCE 467. The blackmailer is expecting another $20,000. We can handle anything. Detectives? Are you sure? Well, I'm not going to leave till I'm the bionic man or uh, until I find the bionic woman. Good luck. Hello, hello, hello. You got to watch what you say around here because the windows have ears. Something wrong? Yes, there is something wrong. There's a bomb. I'm on a very tight schedule. And with the sound of the boom, I am going to be long gone. This tall brunette, born with a silver spoon in her mouth, was Private Eye Raymond Dashiell Caulfield's first wife. This streetwise blonde and I have only two things in common. We were both married to the same man, and we both divorced him. First time at his funeral. Are you ready for this? He left us his mansion, mortgage to the hilt, and the Caulfield Detective Agency. And how do we manage? We call the cops a lot. Plenty soon for me. The idea, Sydney, is to get on the horse, become one with it. I'm already one by myself. I don't even know if this is a male or a female. Gelding. Really? Oh, I'm so sorry I wouldn't have done it to you for the world. All I'm trying to do is get you in shape. I'm already in shape. Sydney Kovac, you are a coward. No, I'm starving. Now, the Green Villa has this fabulous torte dessert. What do you say we go there for lunch? You buying? You're going to get me any way you can, aren't you? Excuse me. I'm looking for Carol Stanwyck or, or Sydney Kovac. Sydney, I'm Carol. What can we do for you? Hi, I'm Henry Watson. Uh, I need some help. Uh, if you're available, I'd like to hire you. Maybe we could talk over lunch. The Green Villa sound good to you? Fine, good. Mr. Watson, could you tell us what this would entail exactly? You might have to go up to Ganders for a little while. Health Spa? Oh. Well, it really is like a nightmare. At this point, I don't quite know where to turn. Why don't you tell him to shove it? Miss <clears throat> Kovac, the Danziger Corporation is very firm on this subject. There is no intra-office fraternization allowed. But you're the executive vice president. Yes, of a very state old-fashioned company. Why didn't you just cut out the hanky-panky, Mr. Watson? Miss Kovac, Sheila and I are in love. Well, I think it's disgusting. Being in love? 
Oh, no, no. I love being in love. I'm talking about the company's attitude. It's a security measure. It's been enforced for 40 years or more. Wouldn't help my feeling of security any. Anyway, because we had to hide the relationships, Sheila and I started going up to Gander's for the weekends. Well, maybe marriage would solve your problem. That would be the end of our careers at the Danziger Corporation. What would you like us to do? Read that. Okay. I know who you are and what you're doing. For $20,000, nobody else will hear a word. You even included pictures. I received that at the office. Later, I received instructions at home about where to drop off the money at Gander's. And what happened after you paid? Well, of course, it wasn't over. They wanted more money. It already cost us $60,000. Needless to say, it's tearing our relationship apart. I was hoping that maybe you could go up there and... Mr. Watson, you can count on us. Thank you. I know that. What's it doing here? It's coming with us. It's coming with us? Honestly, Sydney, this isn't a music festival. It's a case. I think it's pure torture. I can't think of anything worse. I can. Me having to go up there. <laughs> they pamper you there also. Massages, pedicures, manicures, Sorry. facials. I read their brochure. Did you get a load of their menu? <laughs> Don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, eat. All this talk's making me hungry. Enjoy. Look, we really don't have any choice. Sheila and Mr. Watson are there already. The blackmailer expects another payment from them tonight. Three days in the push-up capital of the Bay Area. Oh, goody. Verification Working sale. on the weekend. Now, we've got to make a law against that. Sarah, I don't care what you do. You're not getting me to leave this place. Oh, a permanent guest? That would be a first in the health spa business. Well, look, if I don't stay forever, at least I'll make the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> hey, Sarah, you know what? I understand that um, Cottage 5 is available. Oh, I've booked the Hanrens into 5. Oh, no. I was looking forward to having an Eastern exposure. I, I love to get up with the sun. Come on, Sarah. That's the least you can do for a record holder. I guess the Hanrens will get number seven. Okay, and uh, here we have a, uh, a red Lincoln, and it's a California plate, and that's one BLA 502. the security. Is that to keep the riffraff out or the patrons in? Sydney, please try to look like you want to be here. Doesn't everyone want to be rich and beautiful? Good morning. Welcome to Gander's. Sydney Castle and Carol Hepburn. We have reservations. Mrs. Gander's will meet you up at the reception area. Thank you, Ipso. What is it with you and these movie star names? Well, when you start out with a name like Stanwyck, where do you go from there? Okay, uh, we got a blue Mustang uh, license plate, California, one PCB four six seven. Welcome. I'm Sarah Ganders. Delighted to meet you. Carol. Sid. Hi. Hi. 
This is Phil Howland. He's one of Gander's star pupils. How'd you manage that? Well, Sarah teases me because I'm like the man who came to dinner. She can't get rid of me. <laughs> he moved in lock, stock, and investment business. The place changed my life. I've been here for six weeks. It's great. Well, it's time for my morning run. I'll uh, see you later. Nice meeting you. Bye. Oh, this is for you, Carol. Uh, Tim, who's one of our instructors, will see you to your cottage. Hi. I'm Tim. Well, you certainly are. <laughs> I bet all the ladies want to feel your muscles. Be my guest. Maybe later. <laughs> According to this, we're on cottage number six. Oh, that's a great one. Uh, oh, and, uh, no one usually touches my base, unless they have muscles. <laughs> I'll be real careful. This is of great sentimental value to us. Yeah, it's like my child. One, two. I couldn't even lift those down the steps. Suppose if we stay here long enough, we'll get to look like him. And we're off. We're off. There's a schedule in your cottage. But basically, we start the day with aerobics and then move into swimming and weightlifting. Then after push-ups, if you're still alive, there's jogging and more aerobics. Wonderful. What about, say, lunch? Three light meals a day, no snacks. See, Sydney, this is the perfect place for us to get in shape for the fashion show. Oh, you model. Uh, not exactly. It's the San Francisco 400 charity show. We're going to be in it. That's a very elite bunch. Oh, I never think of it that way. It's just what we are. That's a lovely cottage. Is it ours? Number four? Mm -hmm. No. That one's been booked for at least two months. It looks empty. Person inside probably exercise themselves down to zip. <laughs> Sydney's such a kidder. Where is the person who goes with the cottage? He still hasn't checked in yet. Ah. There's your cottage. I need these people checked out right away. Any word on the subject, CTA? Look, don't worry, I'll handle my end. a great bed. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh. Oh, she'll do better next time. I think Sydney did very well. The first time I went through this, I passed out. And you tried it again? Yeah, I don't know if it was pride or insanity. I vote for insanity. Okay, free time for an hour. I want you to all get to know each other. 
Remember in the Battle of the Bulge, it's very important to have friends. I was sort of hoping we could get friendly with him. Oh, I thought you weren't interested in a fitness nut. Just a little curious, maybe. Hi. Hi. Oh, gee, I saw the way you handled yourselves in class. You've been here before, haven't you? Oh, yes. Yes, Sheila and I have been here for several weekends. Perfect. Well, maybe you two old pros can show us how to spend our free time. Yeah, good. We'd love to. How do you spend your nights around here? Well, uh, later on, we're going to go for a moonlight jog. That sounds romantic. <laughs> it also sounds like everything's still on. Yeah. The blackmailer is expecting another $20,000. Well, you two go ahead, just as though we weren't involved. Are, are, are you sure you can handle it? I mean, what if something goes wrong? Sheila, we're the Caulfield Detective Agency with access to the latest, most scientific techniques. In short, we can handle anything, as long as I don't have to get on one of those things. <laughs> we'll see you later on tonight. But you won't see us. <laughs> something. Going through all this hassle just to be together? Oh, I think it's very romantic. You think everything's romantic. The Star Spangled Banner, Candlestick Park, Kermit the Frog. street noises and everything. I don't even know if I got a clear picture. Maybe we can still find him. Okay. sure? Oh, great, great. That's all I need. In other words, you didn't recognize him. Well, it's hard to recognize anybody. They all look the same in those ganders warm-up suits. Yeah. Well, here we are. One contact sheet coming up. And Shane thought I was crazy when I had him pack all my developing gear. How'd we do? See for yourself. The good news is that I got several good shots of a blackmailer's face. I'm almost afraid to ask what the bad news is. He was wearing a mask. Darn. Never trust a man in nylons. 
Well, we're worse off now than we ever were. Now we know somebody's after him. And he's gonna keep making us pay and pay. There's nothing else that we can do? For now, we'll just play this thing out. You two go on about your weekend. Okay, and what are you gonna do? It's simple. We just switched to plan B. Plan B? Mm-hmm. Good. Don't worry. What is plan B? Shane. Shane? Here? A Carol. Shane in a jogging suit is like Shamu in tights. A jogging suit isn't exactly what I had in mind. Besides, we need him to track down the names on the staff list, especially Tim. What about Phil Holland? He's the only guest that's been here long enough to be the blackmailer. True. Hello, Shane. No, we haven't dropped dead yet. Listen, we need your assistance. I believe in starting off the day with a great, big, healthy meal. Sarah, I couldn't agree with you more. Why do you sink your teeth into this? What is that? It's a tofu patty. Japanese bean curd. Just what you need to get going in the morning. Sydney. Not exactly brunch at the top of the mark. High protein, low carbohydrate, no fat. It's just what the doctor ordered. I knew I recognized it. It does look like hospital food. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> Where do we see lunch? I can hardly contain myself. Today it's homemade yogurt. Mm, unflavored? Of course. Mm. Of course. Unflavored. If you'll all excuse me, I think I'm in line for a little pampering. You'll have to excuse Sydney. She's really having a tough time. I sort of forced her down here with me so she'd forget. Well, I understand. Dieting does sometimes shorten tempers. Forget what? Him. Him who? Well, I really shouldn't say anything. You understand, this has to stay between us. Carol, that's what Ganders is all about, helping people. Mental health, physical health, they go together. Well, she's seeing this man who, how can I put this delicately, well, it's just not worthy of her. Her family is scandalized. They've threatened to disown her if she ever sees Shane again. It's not exactly a fate worse than death. It is in Sydney's case. Her father's worth millions. He made it in Dickies. Dickies? Uh, shirt fronts. As in tuxedos. Boy, some people make money in the strangest ways. Now remember, this has to remain our secret. If she found out I said anything... Carol, I am sure that no one here will breathe a word of it. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Not no, us. I mean, not at this mm -hmm. table. Oh, no. Sydney? Sydney? Over here. Under the Bride of Frankenstein is your adorable Sydney. Bride of Frankenstein is an understatement. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm going to look <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> this pampering part, I really like this. How'd your tail of woe go? By noon, all of Gander should know. Think you'll go for the bait? Well, Mrs. McTwig did in a Sam Spade mystery. You're so smart. You're so green. <laughs> I told you not to make me laugh. Those reductions are only minor adjustments. Meanwhile, the Senate passed the governor's controversial water plan. However, the Democrats amended that, so it may go before the voters in June of 1986. 
The visit of Senator Donald Young continues to have problems. The statesman who may be the key to peace in troubled Latin America has received many threats on his life. Security precautions are being taken for his stay here in the Bay Area. Also here in the Bay Area, the police have finally caught up with a man who was suspected in the robbery last Friday that resulted in the deaths of two Marin residents. The arrest culminated in a two-week-long search in the Marin Headlands. And San Francisco's Irwin Memorial Blood Bank joining a countrywide research project. Hi, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, I was just playing the bass. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, I think it through first. It's kind of a mental exercise. Well, I just thought I'd drop by to see if uh, there was anything I can do to maybe make your stay a little more pleasant. No, no, the only thing that could help me have a more pleasant stay is for somebody to feed me. Well, no, no, you can't break training, but um, how about... Uh, how about a little wine? Huh? You're my kind of guy. What will we drink to? Let's see, uh, how about fitness? Ew. Well, you know what they say. They say wine is uh, very good for your heart. Well, you don't look like a man who's had any trouble with his heart. Do you know that I'm here recovering from a heart attack? A heart attack, you? Yeah, all the hazards of the trade, the buying, the selling, the scamming, it yeah, takes its toll. Yeah, to think of it, my broker always looks like he's near collapse. Oh, well, <laughs> we definitely have to get him here, uh, because they did wonders for me. Is that why you've stayed on? Yeah, and I, I made a vow. I'm not going to leave till I'm the bionic man, or uh, until I find the bionic woman. Good luck. Sydney, we're supposed to be getting in shape. Carol, hi. I was just getting my mind off my stomach. There must be some place around here where we can get a good, decent meal. Uh, not with Sarah controlling the food. Wait a second. There's a great little steakhouse down the road. Let's go. He is definitely my kind of guy. Sydney. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. You know the rules around here. If we leave the premises during the weekend, Sarah cancels our entire stay. So this guy is definitely trying to get us to leave. OK, ready? I'm sorry, Phil. My mommy won't let me go. Oh, well, that's OK. We'll do it another time. I'll, uh, I'll see you in weight training class. Bye-bye. Bye. It is definitely time to check out this guy's place. Do you think Sarah would clobber us if we didn't show up for weight training class? I'll just call and tell her you're too depressed to lift anything heavier than a Kleenex. Okay. My trusty tools? Good. What's taking so long? I'm doing the best I can. Boy, compared to you, living with Ray was easy. Living with Ray was always easy. He was a pussycat. My Ray was a tiger. <laughs> well, if your Ray had been my Ray, I never would have let him be your Ray. Uh-huh. Who said Duke Kovacs' daughter didn't learn her trade? Not me. Look at this computer. This guy's got everything. Even a private phone line. The desk is locked. So is this. So is everything. Even the closet. I suppose Bill even keeps his toothbrush under lock and key. Blackmailer would have to work things that way. Keep all of his research a secret. Sydney, look. The rush order for the phone. He's only been in this cottage a few days. Here's a complete guest list. Names, dates. He's kept a record of everybody since he arrived. Another little handy-dandy blackmailing tool. Look at this. Well, what's that? Why would he keep this locked up? I know, a blackmailer who pots his own plants. Sweet. Sydney. Let's get out of here. OK. You'll never know we were here. Will you come on?
Hold it, hold it. Every muscle in my body is crying out. Well, aches and pains make for a better person, right, Tim? Stronger and healthier, anyway. Oh, level with me. You don't believe that. He doesn't believe that. If I didn't believe this, I'm in the wrong business. Wrong or right doesn't mm. matter as long as you're well paid. I assume you are. Not compared to your guests. Oh. See, it's getting to you two. That's not exactly the problem. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. We're we're all booked up. If you'd like to make a reservation. Ah, it's not a reservation. I'm here for it. Sydney! Oh, Shane! <laughs> Shane! Shane! Sid, baby, oh. sweetheart. How am I doing? You're overdoing. Yeah? What part? The baby? The sweetheart? The squeeze. Oh, sorry. I just haven't done any acting since my eighth grade play. I was Rudolph. My red nose kept falling off. I kept bumping into the person. Shane, Shane. All right. Well, this is a fine thing. You, you, you miserable, rotten. What are you doing here? I had to see Sid. Haven't you done enough already? Do you know the trouble you'll get her into? She's not going to get any trouble unless her family finds out. And who's going to tell them? If Miss Castle doesn't want you here. She doesn't. But she doesn't. You don't, Sidney. I don't. Then I'm going to have to make sure that you leave now. Thank you so much, Miss Ganders. Should we get a look at those guys? Do we have to do it this way? We do if we want it to work. All right, I'm going. I'm out of here. But this is for you, sweetheart. What? Keep it. Keep it, doll, and think of me. And remember. We'll always have Saint-Tropez. affairs. It was also said today that the Reagan administration is planting critical reports in the Western press in order to strengthen Turkey at the expense of Greece. Senator Young's search for peace begins with his own life. An avid believer in holistic medicine, good health, and exercise, Young often goes on long retreats in the country where he says he can get in shape both mentally and physically. A coalition of environmental groups... Now, here is a guy for you, Carol. Not only is he a great mediator, something we could sure use, but he jogs every day. That's it. I've had it. It's impossible to read Shane's notes in this three-ring circus. How can you do so many things at the same time? Well, talking's easy. I've been doing it a long time. And the bass just comes naturally, and I am addicted to the news. Other women like soap operas, but give me Geraldo Rivera any day. ...were upheld by a majority vote. Okay. Now, maybe we can get some of these questions answered here. Yeah, like where did Shane get that car? We probably don't want to know. What did he find out? There wasn't much time for in-depth research on the Gander's personnel, but he did check on Phil. And? There is no Phil. There is two. Shane checked with the police. Phil Howland has no phone number listed or unlisted. Not even the line in the cottage. There are no records anywhere. Not for that name. I knew that guy was a total fraud. And a blackmailer. He's probably trying to set up who's ever in Cottage 4. Because he just moved in next door to it? No, because I saw him snooping around there yesterday. Look. A mash note. Gone. Is that what I think it is? Congratulations on your new diamond. But think what your family would say. If you value silence, you'll turn over the ring at midnight. Oh, not another hike into the woods. I couldn't stand that. You don't have to. I guess he's a little afraid of his old stomping grounds. This time, it's the pool. Yeah. It's 
Tomorrow? Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure everything's in place. Okay. But first, there's something I have to take care of. Yeah. Disappointed with the dime store ring. I don't really care how he feels. Let's go back here. Okay. I put in all those years trying to build this place up, and all it takes is one employee to bring it crashing down. Don't be so hard on yourself, Sarah. Tim was just one greedy young man. Your guests will know that. Especially since Sheila and I intend to keep this very, very quiet. <laughs> We'd like to thank you for a job well done. Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> See you Bye. later. Bye. 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 I'm going to finish up inside. OK. You know, uh, Carol seemed so surprised when she saw that it was Tim. Uh, you two didn't think I was the blackmailer, did you? Actually, we thought it was a possibility. What? Two professional detectives actually suspected me of a crime. That, that's not bad for an average guy. Oh, not too average. I saw the way you threw Tim in the water. That was real black belt stuff. Oh, no, that I got from, uh, from a Bruce Lee movie. That was, uh... Well, you solved the case, so you're going to be leaving soon, huh? Yeah, Carol wanted to stay, but I talked her right out of that. I mean, all we have to do is pack. Well, thank you for everything. Uh-huh. It's my pleasure, and have a nice trip, and it's great meeting you. Bye-bye. Bye. Phil was there for a reason last night, Sydney. Yeah, we both know that, but we don't know why. What's going on? done something special. That's exactly why we didn't tell you. If you don't mind, I'd like these security men to check out the senator's cottage first. Oh, certainly, of course. I'm looking forward to my stay here, Miss Ganders. My goodness, do you have to go through this all the time? <laughs> I'm afraid we do. No wonder you need a rest. <laughs> it's Senator Young. 
That's why Cottage 4 has been empty so long. For security reasons. Then that's why Phil is here. And why he wants us gone. Young's life has been threatened. There are all kinds of factions that would like to see the talks break down. Yeah, it'd be easy for them to hire an assassin. If the spies were good, they would know the senator's schedule far enough in advance to set up a hit. Oh. Hello, hello. You gotta watch what you say around here because the windows have ears. I'm sorry about this, ladies, but I tried to get you out before the trouble started. Listen, Phil, or whatever you're... I'm on a very tight schedule. And at the sound of the boom, I am going to be warned, gone. The boom? Inside's okay. It's clean inside. All right, Senator, it's clear inside. You can go in. Thank you again, Miss Ganders. This seems like the perfect place for me to recharge my battery. I certainly hope so. Bye-bye. See you later. stupid night for me and all this food. I'm really, really sorry. And I know that's embarrassing to you because I brought all this stuff in their papers every day. Sydney! Disgusting. I know. Sydney, are you crazy? I'm glad you brought that knife. What is a knife gonna do against a bomb? There he goes. I'll get Phil, you get the senator out of the cottage. Or die trying. Something wrong? Yes, there certainly is. There is a bomb. What's this all about? There is a bomb. A bomb in your cottage. Some... It's in the flower pot. Oh, please, let me get it out of there. What have you got to lose? I'm alive, and so are you. 
So Sheila is taking a new position, a vice presidency with one of Danziger's competitors. <laughs> but won't that make things more difficult for you? Well, you'd think so, but there's no policy against that kind of fraternization. We can even get married now. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Try one of these. Chocolate walnut tort supreme. Mm. They look like brownies to me. Oh, they are brownies. The ultimate brownie. The taste you will treasure for the rest of your lives. They're lucky to have the rest of their lives. You're not kidding. According to the police, the man that tried to kill Senator Young was Stryker, a freelance agent. Uh, Shane, wait. Bring those brownies over here. You, a brownie? Miss Physical Fitness is having a brownie. <laughs> well, I learned one thing at Gander's. Woman does not live by bean curd alone. Cheers. <laughs>